Okay, so for episode three of this um, PD Unity LibPD mini super quick tutorial thing, um, I thought I would show you how to how sounds can be placed around a listener. Um, so once again, I'm going to be using this uh, Unity PD Basics um, project because I've actually got a prefab made that does this for you, which I think will make things a lot easier. So um, if you especially don't have much experience with Unity. So if you open up Unity PD Basics, I'm just using my um, blank, uh, starting with my blank scene, which is here. Just open it up so I've just got my character and nothing else. Now, if you go into this prefabs folder, you'll see that there's a prefab object called spatial. So a prefab, if you're not aware, means that it, it's basically like a game object that has lots of, a bunch of stuff pre-built into it. And among the things that are pre-built into this prefab are a sound making thing, so like a little synthesizer, and the system for spatializing the sound. So all I'm going to do is take this spatial prefab, drag it from this folder, and put it in my 3D play space wherever I want. And then let's just build and play it and listen. So my sound is there, my thing is there. Now this time, different from the last two episodes, as I move away from it, it gets quieter. You'll remember that in my ambient sound episode, in the last episode, um, I could move away and I could move all around it, it made no difference. Now, as I move around it, if I get closer, it'll get louder. And as I moved past it there, it moved off to my right. And if I go up to it, whoop, I was, in, I was behind it. Where is it? There it is. I could actually kind of hear where it was based on where the sound was. So it's moving all around me. Okay, so it is spatialized. How is it doing that? Well, the way it's doing it, if you double click on the um, prefab itself, you'll see it very quickly. The first thing I did was added a libpd instance and added my patch to it. Then the second thing I did was go up to my audio source and add the spatializer fix to my audio clip. Then I had to do two more things, which is click loop and bring my spatial blend up from 2D to 3D. And I had to add something into my PD patch. So let's do all those things one at a time so you kind of understand what's going on. Let's just start create a new uh, cylinder. So we'll make a similar one to that. Uh, let's give it a material so that it's not just yellow or white. Uh, let's make it red. There we go. Okay, so I've got a new red cylinder here. Uh, so the first thing, as I said, I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new libpd instance. You should get used to doing that. And I'm going to go into my PD assets folder and go down to spatial, which is just a PD patch that's ready to go. So I've clicked on it drag it in, and there we go. Okay, now I said that there were a few more things I need to do. In order to trick PD into applying spatial spatialization to a sound, I have to go into this folder here. It's called Spatializer Fix. And you'll see a weird looking sound file which just looks like a straight line. So what you wanna do is take this and drag it into the audio clip of the audio source of the libpd instance that we just made. Right, so I'm in my cylinder. I can see my libpd instance for my patch. And up here is an audio source. And this is what's usually, what Unity usually uses to play back a sound file. So what we're gonna do is take our spatializer fix, drag it into the audio clip. Then we're gonna click loop so that it's looping. And we're gonna go down to our spatial blend, 2D, and bring it all the way up to 3D. So instead, so this, this is this spatial blend one, okay? Now, all of this still applies if you're doing something in Unity 2D as well as Unity 3D. It's a little bit confusing, but all of exactly the same process applies. And it actually refers to the sound as being in 3D, even though it's, I mean, who cares? But anyway, you can do exactly the same thing. Okay, so that's all working. Now, to show you what I'm doing in this patch, because there's a crucial thing you have to do in PD. In PD, 
if you open up my spatial.pd patch, I've had to add an extra thing here. Um, and this is how it actually does the spatialization. So this is how I'm making all the sound. This is just my little simple synthesizer. Instead of taking the output from this and going straight into DAC, I'm sending this into two multiplier signal objects, left and right. And then I'm taking this ADC tilde. So it's basically the microphone input. And it's using that to multiply my left channel and my right channel. That is how the spatialization works. Basically, what this spatializer fix sound file is doing is sending out like a little tone that is telling PD where the sound is. And then it's placing it by fading up and down the left and right channels. So what this means in practice is if you want to do this, add this to your own patch, you have to take this section here and add it on the output of any sound that you want to make, right? So if you've got some the, the uh, recording of somebody talking and you want the talking to be placed in a space in 3D, then you make your sound player and everything and then you run it out to multiplication tilde objects with ADC tilde running into them and then you set up your spatializer fix in the way that I just did. The main downside to this is it means when you're running the PD patch in PD, you can't hear it. So my way around that is just to make an extra little thing here to switch on for testing in PD. When I turn this on, you'll start hearing it. There it is. So this is optional, but quite useful for if you want to actually um, listen to things in PD while you're designing them. Okay, so now I've made that one and this one. They will work identically. Let's have a listen. So I can hear one in front of me. And I can hear another one over there. It's a little jittery, but we could probably fix that with a little bit of extra effort. Now, because of the way this PD patch works, uh, where is it? This PD patch works based on random numbers, right? So I'm just generating three random numbers and using that to play my, my synth. I can actually make a whole forest of these and it will spatialize them all. And that's actually what I've done here with my, in my scene, um, in my spatial scene. So in spatial here, you'll see that I've just taken a bunch of the spatial prefabs. I've scattered them around. And when I press play, um, I'll be able to walk around this kind of forest of synths. Which is remarkably effective. So imagine that, but with uh, voices instead, or cool sounds of birds, or um, more complex synthesizers, or whatever, and you get a really nice, um, very um, natural feeling walking around and spatialization of sound. Okay, that's that.